What is happening guys? My name is Ryan and welcome to another Space Engineers tutorial on how to build a basic mining ship. If you haven't seen my other tutorial on how to create a basic ship, I recommend you watch that one beforehand. Link will be in the description, so check that out. In this episode, as I said before, we're creating a basic mining ship, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to put down our small ship landing gear. And on top of that, we'll be placing uh, two light armor blocks. We'll then grab a cockpit, place that one just there, like that. And we'll continue to grab some more armor blocks, like so. Now we want to create our base once again to suffice. Put another one here, another one here. What we're basically doing is building the frame of the ship as to where the thrusters and where the conveyors are going to be and that sort of thing. So just like so, nice and simple. Now, the one that we can't forget to delete is this one here. We don't actually need that one. Uh, instead, we're going to place a connector that goes in multiple directions there. So, sorry, not a connector, a conveyor. Place that one there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate this up. And we're going to actually have to find another part, which is conveyor small conveyor tube, chuck this one on top, rotate it around, and this is the location for our first drill. So I'll go ahead and grab that one again, and I'll also grab a drill, which is just that one there, and essentially we put another conveyor right here. There we go, spun it around correctly. And this is our first drill, which will be placed on top just like that. First of three. So moving on, let's create an area for our other drills. So we're gonna have conveyors just like that, going all the way along. Oh, my apologies, sorry, there's only supposed to be two there. And then we'll grab this one. And I believe that's rotated it, yep, in an upwards direction. Then we'll need to rotate it once again because we are connecting everything, actually I've got to say the angle, everything to this middle connector here. There we are. Grab the straight one. Plonk them there, plonk that there, then we grab two more drills, place one there, place one there, and now all the drills themselves are linked up, and we actually need to add now the components of the ship in order to make it work and to make it fly. So to start off with that, we're going to go ahead and grab a uh, small reactor here, rotate it so the door is facing upwards as per usual. So place one there, place one there. I have two because we've got drills as well as thrusters so just if we need a bit more power. Then also what we're going to grab is a small storage container, a small cargo container sorry, and we're going to grab that one and we're going to place it just here. Now we want to make sure the door is facing outwards so we can access it. And what this has done is it is connected to the conveyors via this uh, conveyor just here. And as a result is collect connected to the drills and this allows every uh, ore that's been harvested to be drilled, transported through the pipes here and straight into the cargo container. Now, of course, we don't want to forget our gyroscope, so conveniently, we've got a nice little spot for that there. We also need thrusters in order to make the ship go. Now, just like in my other tutorial, I've shown you that 
there needs to be uh, thrusters facing in every direction. Now, I've left these gaps here purposely to fit the thrusters that go in this direction. As a result, they're nice and tucked away. Then we're going to flip some of these around for the other direction. I like to put three personally just because it makes it much easier. Now we need our left and right ones. And those ones are there. Now we need our up and we need our down. So that's our up. And we'll quickly go ahead and put on the downwards thrusters. And there you have it. A very, very basic ship that can be easily used to mine all sorts of rocks much quicker than your hand drill that you normally use. So it's extremely efficient. So let's go ahead and test this one out. Oh, actually, just beforehand, uh, this little bit here, I also like to sometimes put a light on the front of it. That way, once you've dug, say, into a deep tunnel, uh, there is some light that has been provided for you to see. So let's jump in. Let's turn the light off as we don't need that now. And before uh, we actually proceed, we need to go and grab uh, essentially the tool in our toolbar. So we go ahead and press G, go to weapons and tools, grab the drill. And what this allows us to do is press one and it, we treat it like any other sort of uh, first person drill or gun, etc. So if you just hold down your left mouse button, these will turn around. And if you let go, they'll stop. Now beforehand, we always need to press P to disengage the landing gear and then we're safe to take off. And now I'll demonstrate the way in which uh, this mining ship actually works. So you don't want to absolutely plow in, but as you can see, if I spin these around, collect all the ore, as you can see from another angle here, it works quite efficiently. Mining all the ore, and then what you'll see if you go ahead and press I, is that normally uh, it would stain the drills, but because we've got the conveyors, the stone has actually moved itself to the small cargo containers, and in that way we can uh, manage our storage much more easy. And it's also worth noting the lights, as you can see on the conveyor, uh, they're now a yellowy sort of color. Originally they were red, and that's because they weren't powered. You need to ensure they're powered and attached to something for them to work. There we are, a nice little mining ship, easy to use, easy to build. If you're in survival mode, this doesn't require too many resources, so it's a very good starting type ship. This is very, very basic, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want more, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.